Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Venti here. So in this video, we are looking at an example of how to use the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. Two things that you need to be aware of. The first one is the quadratic equation, which is over here in this box. This is a formula you need to know off by heart, so you need to memorize it. The second one is the format of the quadratic equation that you need to have before you can use the formula. So our format says ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, and that is our standard form that we need first. So let's do example eight. We've got three equations that we need to solve. First thing that we're gonna do, because the formula is negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus four ac over two a, we need to identify the values of a, b, and c. So in question A, uh, I look at the formula and I see, okay, it's not a trinomial equals zero. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write it in the correct formula by taking that 36 to the other side, and now I have a trinomial. Now I can write that A is equal to one because it's one x squared, B is equal to positive nine, and C is equal to negative 36. That is my first equation. I'm going to do the same with the second and the third. So my second one, if I write it as a trinomial, I'm actually going to take this negative to the other side. So I'm going to say no, 0 equals 3x squared plus 7x minus 12. And based on that, um, a is equal to 3, b is equal to 7, and c is equal to negative 12. And in my third one, I already have it in the correct formula. So A is 1, B is 1, and C is 2. Okay, now that I have all of those, I am simply going to plug and play. Let's do our first one. So first things first, you need to write the actual formula without any um, variables, without any values in the variable places. So this you have to write out every single time that you use it, okay? So um, <clears throat> in our first formula, we are going to substitute minus b is 9 plus minus the square root of 9 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 36. Now, one of the most common mistakes that I see you all make is you substitute without brackets. And this is an issue because you end up making mistakes when it comes to squaring or multiplying things out. Um, normally, this if this, negative, if this 9 was a negative, you end up forgetting the minus needs to be squared. Or on the right-hand side, you end up um, adding instead of multiplying two times one okay so our next step is going to be to get our calculator so let's do that our calculator is going to be let's do I think that one is that the one we want okay that's not the one I want hold on okay let's use this calculator so what we're gonna do is we are going to create a fraction and in the numerator of the fraction we are going to input a negative nine and then we are going to do plus first, the square root of 9 squared. So open bracket 9, close bracket squared, um, minus 4, open bracket 1, close bracket, open bracket, negative 36, close bracket. Notice that I'm doing it exactly the way that I would do it in ink. So I'm typing it exactly the way that I would write it down. Having inputted all of that values, I get an answer of three. If you can see here on the right hand side. So my answer is going to be, you remember that when you are doing a quadratic equation, you always have to the power of two, therefore you have got two answers, right? So now we know that x is equal to positive three. Okay, so technically what you're supposed to say is negative nine plus the square root of that over two or x is equal to negative 9 minus the square root of that over 2. And the added one is equal to 3. 
and the subtracted one, let's go back to our calculator. If I change that plus into a minus, it becomes negative 12. So that means that if I was to sketch this, remember we've got a happy graph with a minimum value and our x-intercepts are going to be at 3 and negative 12. So if I draw the graph, I have positive 3 and over here negative 12 and my graph will look something like that. If this makes sense to you. Okay, so this is our first one where we get our values for x or our x-intercepts. Let's do B. Okay, so for question B, we know that um, x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. And now we are going to substitute our values. So x is equal to negative b is 7. Remember, we're looking at this one over there plus minus the square root of 7 squared. Uh, minus 4 times a which is 3 times c which is negative 12 and all of that divided by 2a so x is going to be equal to negative 7 plus now we can just go ahead and do that in the middle real quick so let's clear this all out and we're going to say okay to clear everything um hold on Okay, so what we want to do is, I'm just going to do my square root first. So I'm going to say, okay, so it's square root. Uh, what did we say? 7 squared minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is negative 12. So that gives me 13.89244, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Instead of doing that, let's do the whole thing properly. Um, all right, let's do that. Fraction. And I'm going to type the whole thing out, and then I'm going to come back to you, okay? Okay, so when I do the whole thing with an addition, I get a total of 1, 148, 704, 664, 91. So we are going to then write that out. Um, so that added over 2a is going to give me a total of 1 comma 1 4 8 um, so let's go with 1 4 9 right or we're going to do two decimal places 1 4 8 which is approximately 1 comma 1 5 if we do the subtraction so instead of adding them we do subtraction it's 0 comma 0 wait something's wrong why is this here Go down I don't know when that's there we go okay negative three comma four eight two okay so let's put that in there or remember we need two values of x negative seven minus the square root over two a is equal to negative what did I say negative three comma four eight two negative three comma four eight two which is approximately negative 3 comma 4 8 and those are our two values rounded off to two decimal places let's do question c quickly c is um, we write our formula x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a now we substitute the values and as you can see we're going to use those values over there so x is equal to minus 1 plus minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 2 and all of those divided by 2 times a which is 1 so we simplify this we have minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus 8 so it's 
4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 minus 8 is negative 7 over 2. That is your equation. And now you can input that in and you can say x is equal to um, 1 plus square root of 7 over 2 or x is equal to 1 minus square root, or sorry, negative 1 on both of them, uh, minus square root of 7 over 2. So let's go ahead and do that, clear everything out. We we'll start with a fraction and we say, okay, negative 1 plus square root. I'm going to do the whole thing like I would write it down just to make sure that I haven't made any errors in my brain over 2 times 1. Okay, so that means that um, our answer is going to be, hold on one second. Okay, so the reason why our answer looks so funny, can you see this i here? Or if I expand it, you can see it's negative 1 plus i square root 7. This i specifically refers to the fact that it's an imaginary number. So what I want to show you is, notice that it's the negative square root of 7. Negative square root of 7. So what that means is these are not real numbers. In other words, these are your final answers according to this equation that we're busy with at the moment so this is how you use the quadratic formula in order to get um, the values of x so i drew the others for you right if i was to draw b b would look like this it's a smiley face because it is a positive graph notice that and the way that it cuts it would be here at one comma one four or one five and then it will also cut here at three comma or sorry negative three comma four eight so your graph would look like that but what about this one that has imaginary numbers as x-intercepts this means that the graph does not cut the x-axis at all all right i hope that made sense to you uh good luck with your exercises and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye